Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have my BoxyCharm Tom box with you. This is for September 2022. This is the base box which is $27.99 per month and it's five full size items. If you are a paying member you're able to choose one item. I am sent this free for review so I'm not able to choose any of my items. Just so you know this YouTube video is not part of my agreement with BoxyCharm. My agreement with them is to post over my Instagram story so follow me over there at Eat Stretch Explore if you're interested. Um, so in this video it's just my hot so I like to share with you my first impressions and my full opinion about the box and I fully understand that um, sometimes people don't like my reviews but that's your own opinion feel free to share your opinion about the products etc um, so I try to give you um, an opinion about whether or not it fits me and my lifestyle just in case you are similar to me where you are very busy and you're very much a natural sort of look sort of person um, so thank you for watching and I'm going to just jump into it I have already unboxed it because um, long story but I've been traveling a lot so all of my boxes piled up so I decided to do a blind Allure Beauty Box versus BoxyCharm video. Um, so I've already seen what's in here, but let me just show you. Um, so again, base box, so it's pink on the inside. The theme this month is Rent the Runway. No, it's not. Real Life Runway, Strut Your run Runway. So this is the first item here. It is from Ofer Cosmetics. It's the signature palette in Symphony. Um, it says, give them pitch perfect eye looks with this palette of melodic mauves and warm shimmers featuring and inspired by the blissful highlighter. These harmonious shades never miss a beat in the easy to carry compact with a mirror. $32 value. Um, so personally, I don't spend my own money on Ofra just because I do not align myself with the owner and how they use their money that they made from Ofra. Um, I understand that the business is separate from the owner, but it's just a personal opinion and personal preference. That being said, um, I have only been sent a couple of products in some subscription boxes that I didn't spend my own full money on. Um, so I mean, it's just a personal like ethical issue for myself. Um, feel free to like do whatever you want. I don't care about if you spend your own money with Oprah. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is what it looks like here. And it has a mirror, as they mentioned, so I'm going to try to cover it up. So these are the shades. Um, so this does seem like a pretty good product for um, travel. Um, so I'm going to try to give you the shades. They do put the info on the back. So this one here is Sublime. This one is Charm. This is the Blissful Highlighter. This is Tempo here, so it's like kind of a berry color. And the final one here is Godiva, and that's kind of like a chocolatey brown shade. Hopefully that'll give you a little bit more insight. Um, so again, I do think that this is a pretty good travel um, sort of product, because again, full length of the um, compact is a mirror, and it has a nice latch as well. Um, so I do think they're wearable shades, and this one is made in the US by Ofer Cosmetics. So the next product is from Too Faced. So this is the only product I could remember that was in the spoiler. So let me even know if this was one of the choice products, but this is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. This is a mascara so amazing it's better than sex. The award-winning formula creates lashes that are full, defined, and stretched to unbelievable lengths for the most intense black, oversized, multi-dimensional lashes. This has a $28 value. Um, so I haven't tried this product before and I know that it's been like talked about and raved about for years. Um, so I'm actually quite excited to try it out finally for the first time without spending again full price. Um, so I do think that that's like one of the benefits of the subscription box is that you are able to try products that you've been eyeing for a while without paying full price for it, but it's kind of a gamble. So I don't know, let me know below what you think about subscription boxes. It's an hourglass shaped brush designed after discovering the bust waist hip ratio of an iconic silver screen blonde bombshell held the secret to the perfect this is a little bit much perfect brush silhouette that separates coats and curls each last to voluptuous perfection award winning formula creates lashes that are full defined and stretched to unbelievable length oh okay that was from the box um, so it has a film forming polymer to lock curls in place, Acacia Senegal um, tree extract to set volume, and peptides to condition lashes. It's ophthalmologist tested and suitable for contact lens wearers. And this has um, quite a few ingredients in here, some waxes, etc. Um, don't see any um, fragrance added or anything like that. And it says that it's um, made in Italy and good for six months after opening. And this is what the before and after looks like on the model from the package. Um, I'm not going to open the tube itself, but I'll show you what the tube looks like just because I have so many mascaras open at the moment. I can't get the box open. 
I had it open and I put it back together to show you it and now I can't open it. Okay, let me did too much of, I did too good of a job trying to close it back up. So this is like the iconic tube. It is like a metal sort of, I think. Um, it feels like metal. It's kind of cool to the touch. It's kind of weighted actually. It is kind of interesting. Let me know below what you think. So the weighted part is actually the handle part. Um, very interesting. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would mention that. Again, I haven't tried it out, so I don't have any opinion about it. So if you have any opinion about it, and if you can tell me if it is like smudge proof or not, let me know. <laughs> because my eyes water so much and I like even the most waterproof sometimes smudges. I don't know. Um, so the next product in here is from Siate London. Um, so we've received a similar product like this in the past from BoxyCharm. Um, I didn't enjoy it that much personally, but this is the Siate London Dewy Highlight Glossy Cheek Glow. Um, so in the past I got like the dewy blush. Um, anyway, this is the glow in the tube. It gives cheeks a soft champagne shine and glass-like dewy finish thanks to plumping hyaluronic acid and yuzu extract, brightening vitamin C and dragon fruit extract and nourishing of vitamin E. This has a $24 value. So basically, I just think that it's user error and I don't know how to use the product, but every time I used the cheek blush, um, every time I used it, it like smudged and moved around my makeup. So it wasn't ideal for me because I'm like a very much like gotta get down and then gotta get it done in like three to five minutes and then it'll be out the door. So <laughs> if I have to like finagle things too much, it's not my fave. Um, so this is the Dew Drop shade. And again, this is um, a highlighter. Um, and let's see here. Uh, apply two to three small dots and blend immediately for sheer glow. It's a gel balm highlighter. Applies smoothly and evenly for a soft glowy finish. Blending effortlessly, this highlighter adds a dewy glass-like sheen for a healthy luminous glow. It does have fragrance in it. That was the other thing from the other one is it was very scented to me and I don't know why they put a bunch of fragrance in it. Um, so if you don't like fragrance, I would say probably you might want to not open this one. Um, again, I haven't opened this because I'm probably going to donate it because I haven't enjoyed the blush one and I don't want to waste this product. Um, but it has stood for 24 months after opening and it made in Italy. Um, so again, I haven't opened it, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a small tube like you would think like a... Carmex comes in, uh, slightly bigger than the Carmex tube, but it is 10 mLs or 0.33 fluid ounces if you're interested. So again, just let me know how you use the product without it smudging your makeup because maybe I will use it. I don't know. Um, I also like kind of am like maybe I should just donate it for somebody who actually knows how to use the product and will enjoy it a lot more than me than me being like, oh, I have to just use it up. Um, anyway, that is a personal problem. Um, the next product is a product from a brand I've never heard of. So when I got it or originally, it did have a cellophane wrapper. Um, but since I've already unboxed it, um, you can watch it on the other video. Um, this is from Glow On Fifth, which is a brand I've never heard of. It's the Bye Bye Puffy Eyes Cooling Eye Ball. This is the Glow On Fifth's best-selling formula. is now available in a convenient full-size travel tube. Infused with caffeine, shea butter, and berry extract, swipe this eye balm on for instant refresher and major wake-up call. Formulated for all skin types to leave your under eyes feeling hydrated, glowing, and cool. Can also help reduce the appearance of bags and dark circles. It has a $24 value. So um, I have just been thinking like this morning because I've been traveling so much and just like not sleeping in my own bed. Plus one of the hotels was a little iffy. Um, anyway, um, I was like trying to find that one Tula, I think it was Tula stick that you're supposed to use. And I was like, I know it's in here somewhere. Um, but I was like laying in bed and didn't want to get up. Anyway, I'll find it later because I do want to take it with me on my trip tomorrow. Um, so uh, by the time you see this, I'll be back home, but I'm going to Boston again. Um, but yeah, this one is the Bye Bye Puffy Eyes Cooling Eye Balm. This is made in China and it has like a bunch of ingredients in it. Personally, I don't know if my under eyes are going to enjoy shea butter. I will give it a go, but again, I want to use the older product first, the Tula one. I think it's Tula. It's in a pink tube. I got it from Fat Hip Fun. Let me know below what it is because maybe I'm just like remembering the brand wrong, which is why I can't find it. Um, but it's cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, um, formulated for all skin types. So it does have the expiry date on the bottom, which is really nice to see. Actually, I wish more companies did that. Um, but yeah, I've just never heard of this brand. Let me know below if you've tried it before, what you think about it. Oh, I forgot to even open it to tell you. Um, so basically, since I had already been looking for that cooling stick, and when I saw this on the card when I unboxed it earlier, I thought it was going to be a similar product, but it comes in like a squeeze tube. So it's kind of more like a Vaseline, I guess, in consistency. I thought it was going to be like a balm, you know, like a lip balm. Um, it's more like a lip gloss. <laughs> 
ointment. Um, so anyway, thought that was interesting. Um, I haven't opened it again, so I can't tell you if it has like a scent or anything, but let me know below if you've tried it out. I'm showing you the back side upside down. Um, the final product in here is a black eyeliner. So personally, I'm jazzed about it because I am almost out of black eyeliners, but this one is from Tint. It's the Phantom Liner. It's a color-rich formulation that glides onto skin with ease and strong color payoff. The liner allows you to create eye looks from subtle to strong for the perfect wing. And this is an $18 value. Um, so again, I haven't heard of this brand tint except for in subscription boxes. And we've gotten it in BoxyCharm pretty frequently, or at least I have, I think. Um, one of the products was not my favorite at all, and I will not go into, again, what the problem was. Um, but I am interested in trying this out. This, again, is a liner, so I think it looks like it's going to be black. And I'm not going to open it because, oh yeah, it says black here. So it is going to be black, fact check myself. Um, but I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to dry out because I do have two or three eyeliners open right now. Two of them are brush sort of ones. No, one is brush, one is felt. And both of those are almost out. And then the other one I just opened was from a subscription box and it's like a pencil one. And I am not good at that at all. So I don't know what to do with it. Let me know below if you have a creative use for a eyeliner thing that's 24 hours um, that I just can't do. I bungled it up. So <laughs> anyway, this looks like it's going to be a liquid liner. So I don't know if it's brush or felt. Um, this says shake well before applying and is made in um, China. Oh, it has a lot of liquid. I don't know if you can hear this. Um, but there is like no ball in there, you know, like usually there's like that ball from like nail polish. Uh, but yeah, this was very liquid. Um, so I'm kind of interested in trying it out because um, I am wanting to know how black it is because I really like a nice black line. But I also want to know how precision tip the actual liner is and if it's felt tip or brush. I personally prefer brush myself, but uh, I know some people really enjoy felt. Anyway, um, I have a lot of opinions about black eyeliner apparently, even though everybody thinks it's very boring. Um, but yeah, that was the box this month. So honestly, I think the boxy term was really good. Um, there's like only one product that I just don't know how to use, so it's not going to be of use to me. But if I did know how to use it, this would have been a five for five box um the this other one is a little bit iffy but if it doesn't work underneath my eyes i might use it like on as a hand cream or something um, because actually in the winter this sort of like i'm assuming it's kind of like a thicker sort of ointment feel um it'll be really good to sleep with socks on my hands um but yeah it feels really good in your hands feel like baby's butt um, so yeah, anyway, thank you again for watching. Let me know what you thought about my box this month. Also, let me know what the choice products were this month because I am almost certain that one of the choice products I had seen was a dual ended stick and one side was a highlighter and one side was a blush. But let me know what the other choice product was or even if that was a choice product for this month. Maybe it was for next month. I don't know at this point. I am confused about what day it is. Thank you again for watching and I will see you again soon. Um, on the channel this week I have probably posted a bunch of boxes so hopefully I have caught up myself um, because this has been like just a whirlwind of travels and things. Um, so thank you again for watching and I will be also editing my vlog series trying to get through a bunch of travels and things to kind of get it back into present day so you can actually see my exciting travel. Um, but thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!